How to make an art portfolio. Looking to showcase your work to an art gallery, to a university, or for an employer? An art portfolio is a great way to highlight all of your best pieces and show your abilities. A portfolio should speak for itself and combine professionalism, passion, personality, and a variety of pieces that have been inspired by you. It will be your first impression and needs to stand out amongst other submitted portfolios. In your portfolio you want to show whoever you are catering to your talent, what makes you stand out from the rest, and why they should choose your portfolio over someone else's. Compiling pieces. Look up the requirements for your portfolio. Every organization is different and so they may require different things within your portfolio or a different format for your portfolio. Your portfolio will also depend greatly on the type of study or career you are interested in pursuing. For example, if you are applying to a film school or animation school, your portfolio will likely be digital and consist mostly of work that you have done within that field. On the other hand, if you are applying to an architecture school or to an art gallery you may have more sketches and drawings. Some institutions suggest only using about 10 to 20 pieces in your portfolio. If you have really strong pieces, fewer is better because the more pieces you have the more likely it is that the quality of the pieces will drop. 2. Always check what the organization expects before you begin piecing together your portfolio. You don't want to waste time creating a portfolio one way, and then have to redo it because it's not in the right format. Choose finished or unfinished pieces, based on the requirements for your portfolio. Many schools in the United States require that all of your work be finished, but some in other areas such as the United Kingdom want to see your process and development. Check the requirements for your portfolio before you do one or the other. If you are allowed to use unfinished pieces, do so. This reveals your skills, commitment, and depth of knowledge as well as gives context to the creation and thought process behind your work. A piece of art is often more than just the finished product, but greatly depends upon the process and experimentation of the piece. 3. Make sure all pieces, both finished and unfinished, are perfected. Remove any smudges, fingerprints, or defects that have been left on the piece. Include observational drawings. These pieces prove that you are able to observe something in real life and create your own replica of it on paper. Observational drawings or paintings can make up a substantial part of your portfolio. The purpose of these drawings is to show those looking at your portfolio that you are able to record shape and form, detail, perspective, proportion, and surface qualities. 4. When drawing something from observation, aim for a sense of realism, without creating a rigid, mechanical copy of it. It may help to select a subject that's important to you, because you'll begin to think about the themes and motifs behind the drawings, rather than what's right in front of you. Highlight your best pieces. If you have been an artist for a while you likely have an array of pieces, from the best, to really good, to mediocre, to poor. It may be tempting to choose your really good work along with your best work. However, these two need to be separated. You don't want to just showcase your really good work. You want to showcase only your best, the pieces that you are certain without a doubt show quality, ability, artistry, and creativity. Be selective with your work and don't choose pieces just for the sake of variety. It's better to have solid pieces of art that vary less in medium or style than it is to have a lot of different mediums and styles but mediocre art. 5. If it's difficult to be unbiased or edit your own work, ask a friend or two what pieces are your best pieces. It could also be helpful to find a mentor in your own field. Look for someone with artistic talent who has been in your shoes before who can help you make difficult decisions like these. And, the good thing is you know you can trust their judgment because they have experience in artistry as well. Never choose art that is an imitation of someone else's art. Admissions offices and employers have seen thousands of portfolios and will likely be able to recognize if you have created artwork from a photograph or another piece of art. This also reveals your lack of creativity and inability to create art from real life. 6. Ask a friend to look over your art. After you have picked out a significant body of work, have a friend or mentors look over it, asking them to give feedback on the different pieces you have picked out. Some of your art may need to be redone or improved, so give yourself enough time before the portfolio needs to be submitted to improve your artwork. Build in time after you've chosen your pieces to reflect and come back to those pieces once you've been able to process. It's important to give yourself this time because you will be able to better evaluate your work and will come back to it with less bias. Sometimes friends can be biased towards your work as well, so it may be more beneficial to bring in someone that doesn't have a personal relationship with you. It may be easier to receive constructive criticism from them as well. Learn to take constructive criticism well and know that it's not an insult or derogatory comment, but given so that you can improve as an artist. Include supplemental articles, publications or awards. Some institutions will not ask for this, so once again, check the requirements for your portfolio. However, this can be helpful to show that your work has been recognized by others and that it has has previous exposure.